the responsibility and fight against corruption must not only be left in the hands of the Anti-Corruption Commission alone, but all other sectors and members of the society, including the youth. This was the stance by the head of the ACC at the debating competition launch. Including the public in general, they have a role to play. And in this regard, the learners have also a very indispensable role to play. The competition will encourage young people to engage in dialogue about various forms of corruption. The Education Deputy Minister highlighted his concerns about corrupt activity in the country and how it puts the nation at risk. Corruption, colleagues, is a cancer. It's a disease, a deadly disease. We have seen it, what it did around the world in some countries. I'm not here to mention countries. You know them. We do not want it here in this country. That's why we want our leaders of today and of tomorrow to be strengthened, to be encouraged, to speak out against corruption. The ACC has particularly singled out the youth as by engaging them, they aim to stimulate a culture of honesty, which will in turn serve as a catalyst in maintaining a zero tolerance for corruption. I think the Anti-Corruption Commission is doing a very good job, a very great job indeed, because they are developing the country. And I just want them to reach out to the rural areas, those people who don't have uh, libraries and computers, so that they can uh, find out about this information. Because uh, corruption is not only about money laundering, it's also about bribery and this is happening a lot in rural areas so I just want them to go out to the rural areas so that these people can be educated and they should put their uh, manuals and information flyers in other different languages so that everybody can understand this. The anti-corruption competition, debating competition is a very great platform that I've been waiting for since I as a youth have many questions that need answers and I have many opinions that need to go out there to the public mm -hmm. and so we have all the and we have a parliament where the older and very important people can state their cases and all that so we just found it right that we as the youth get something like that to express our views the ACC has added braille material to their publications to enable the visually impaired to also join the corruption battle. The learners' debate is scheduled to start tomorrow in the Commerce region and at a later stage the ACC will launch the competition in other areas of the country.